what is up welcome back to the channel it is crystal today just me by myself paranormal podcast um this isn't going to be a typical podcast and it's going to be a little bit shorter than what we're used to doing um but it was really necessary for me to come in and kind of just have a chat with you guys one-on-one -on -one with everything that's going on there's been some other stuff that like we need to touch base on so and i also want to like get some feedback from you guys see if anybody has some questions while i'm doing this um so first of all, I'm going to address that there's been a rumor going around, which I'm very impressed by, to be honest, because rumors mean that you've made it. Um, but the rumor is, is that Elfie and Kat have quit. <clears throat> I don't know where this started. I'm, I've heard that there's like some like shit talking blogs on uh, Tumblr about like paranormal people. I've never read them. I don't read good or bad stuff about myself. Why? Because I just worry about what I'm doing. Um, but apparently <clears throat> one of these blogs may have started this rumor that, um, Elfie and Kat quit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where that came from. Um, we started getting notifications last week from, like, fans emailing us, messaging us, asking who, why they quit and when they quit. What? Nobody's quit. So I don't really, I don't know where that stems from. It wasn't from us. Nope. Everybody's still here. Kat and Elfie are still here. Kat's been with me... My God, when did she start? I don't even know. I think Kat's been with me for like three or four years or maybe longer at this point. But yeah, Kat's not going anywhere. She's like my right hand man. And Elfie's still trucking, so I don't really know. Elfie does all of our research and she's like totally in. So I don't, anyway, um, let's just clear that up so that you hear it from the source. And if you ever have questions, I feel like the fastest way that we respond to things like this is on our Instagram. So Instagram stories, like all three of us got on there immediately the first day we started hearing about this and we like addressed it. So yeah, nobody's quit. Everybody's fine. Everything's good. You know, like just, just take in mind that <clears throat> we're not on um, the stream 24 seven and you know, we still do have lives outside of this. Like, I eat, breathe, sleep Ghost Girl Diaries 24-7, but I do not expect Kat and Elfie to do the same, although they do, in a way. Um, Kat just said, yeah, still here over three years. Yeah, so, um, I don't know where that started from. Sorry, my dogs are barking. I think that's somebody at the door. Is my volume okay? That sounded like my door opened. Are you in here? Someone in here? I swear. Always, every time I go to stream, there's paranormal activity in here. Um, I don't think anybody came in, though. Because my mom's watching on Facebook, so it wouldn't have been hers. Well, that's weird. Anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, anyway, we have lives outside of Ghost Girl Diaries. So, like, what does that mean? Kat runs a business, and she does magic loops, and she does tarot appointments, and she does crochet and hobbies, and then she lives in New Hampshire, and then Elfie's in Pennsylvania, and she does her book collecting and like she's busy and she works 24 7 so like it's okay like I warned everybody the last podcast which was like what a month ago or something that um, this month was gonna be difficult I warned everybody about that I know did you hear the door open yeah the door's not open it's not weird um, anyway um, where have I been I'm in negotiations I'm in the middle of negotiations. Just because we're not on the podcast doesn't mean something's wrong. Follow us on Instagram. I feel like we're always, all three of us are on Instagram and TikTok more than anything else. Um, so just breathe, okay? So I don't know where that started, but nobody's quit. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on right now. Um, I was gonna start streaming last week, but um, my uncle, we, Kat and I had a stream planned and unfortunately my uncle passed away unexpectedly um, about four, four days ago now, I think it was four days ago. Um, and I was a, I was a mess. Um, I'm at a point with work right now that I can't really go back to Colorado. So I was in the midst of processing a death 
and you know how that goes. Um, the next thing I want to kind of chat about is something really interesting that we were able to find out. I was finally able to get a hold of somebody on the YouTube side and allow them to sort of look at the back side of our channel and what it looks like. I have not made any decisions to leave the YouTube channel yet because um, I wasn't sure. You know, like there was a time we celebrated like 10 million views. This was literally years ago, like probably 2015. 2016 2017 and all of a sudden my views started to go down like literally they were being rolled back and reversed and I know I've talked about this before um, at this point I mean I can't I don't even know what we should be at definitely high into the millions there was at my highest point we had hundreds of thousands of subscribers after the Logan Paul incident we dropped to 150,000 subscribers and I couldn't figure out how you drop that much and then shortly after that, it dropped down to about 19,000 subscribers. And although we have been uploading with the podcast for well over a year now, and by the way, the podcast itself, I'm talking on like Spotify, iTunes, Deezer. I mean, I have a list. I'll tell you where our podcast is. Just stand by for one second. Our podcast is doing amazing, like literally amazing. We have our podcast on all these platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Deezer, Amazon Kindle, Audible, um, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Stitcher, TuneIn with Alexa, Podcast Addict, Pod, Pocket Cast, Listen Notes, Player FM, Podcast Index, um, and the apps that we're on is Podcast Player, The Podcast, and Overcast. So we are literally everywhere, plus like obviously Spotify, iTunes, all the major ones. So the podcast is doing amazing, right? And so now I feel like I haven't put all of my uh, ducks sort of into one basket, if you will. Because before, when the, when the channel tanked after Logan Paul went to like the, for, the haunted forest in Japan, if you know what I'm talking about, that's when the algorithm and the artificial intelligence AI tanked all the paranormal channels on YouTube. I know I was not the only one because I had probably 20 other paranormal YouTubers reach out to me who was having the same problem. I've never wanted to move officially for a few reasons. I did stop uploading for a while, but here's the reasons I stopped um, that I didn't want to move yet was one, YouTube was my only hub. I never grew another, um, you know, uh, I want to say fan base, but like I never grew my content in another location, which obviously we're working on TikTok and it's going amazing. And obviously the podcast has, is actually in the process of surpassing YouTube. Okay. So I finally got a hold of someone that got to see the back side of our YouTube channel last week and I had to sit on it and meditate on it for a while. Essentially, people are not seeing our content. For me to have a couple of viral videos that hit a million or, or over, I should have um, a lot of subscribers, I should be making a lot of money per month in AdSense and I should be able to see those millions of views and I cannot access it. Essentially, the, the channel has been confirmed that it has been shadow banned. This is via YouTube. You cannot unshadow ban a channel. You can't un, un -F it, if you will. Um, and the reason is, is because of algorithm and AI, which is artificial intelligence, which is involved with algorithms, okay? Once you're, it's sort of like a bug is the way it was explained to me, is once your channel is squished, there is no revival. So. Now that I've taken the time to rebuild on all of those other podcast avenues that you guys have heard, I made the executive decision without talking to Kat, without talking to Elfie, I made the decision by myself to start a new YouTube channel, okay? This was also um, advised via YouTube when I spoke with them. Basically, they were sorry for what happened, but they can't undo it. It was years ago and it is what it is. I'm only getting a couple hundred views per each um, podcast that I'm uploading, and we should have thousands at this point. When I've been on YouTube for, for this many years, we should have thousands, and there's no way to fix it. So what I'm going to do, or what I've already started doing, if you go to crystalleandra.com or ghostgirldiaries.com or all of our social media, we have now linked the new YouTube channel, and I am now in the process of moving some old videos to the new YouTube channel. 
at first this was really scary. I'm also uploading TikTok shorts to the new YouTube channel, okay? It was scary at first for a lot of reasons, it's taking that like initial leap off the edge, but my question was, now that I have to literally start over from scratch, the good news is, is that YouTube said that my facial recognition, my voice recognition should match the algorithm with fans who probably have no idea where I went, honestly. I am still to this day getting comments on YouTube saying, I miss your old content, where have you been? I've only seen one video in the last 12 months. I've been uploading and it's still not there. No one's seeing it. Um, and it's crazy and there's nothing we can do about it. So there is no point for me to continue to upload here because essentially if I am making thousands of dollars in ad revenue that I'm not seeing, YouTube is pocketing it. I'm not getting a penny out of it. I make between $80 to $100 a month, if that, on YouTube AdSense. And basically with the amount of numbers and the years that I've been on, with the hundreds of videos that I have posted, it, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Every time I have new subscribers come on to the YouTube channel, I drop a few other subscribers. So my subscribers never surpass about 19,000. I can't get past it. And the reason is, is because of the algorithm and because we've been shadow banned. There's nothing I can do about it. So I love you guys. I hope you support us by moving to the new channel. If you do, you great. If you don't, great. Um, it's totally up to you, but I am willing to take the chance and, and start over. Now, what's gonna happen from here on out? The podcast is gonna keep going. The podcast is great, but on live days, it will be on the new channel. Live podcasts will be on the new channel. And then I will download them, edit them, upload them to the actual podcast server like we've been doing, and I'll also re-upload them as a new video. Um, this is going to be one of the last videos that I, I film on this channel. I'm going to do a goodbye video, and I'm going to upload it as the sort of featured content so that anytime someone comes here, they know what happened and where we moved to. I moved one video over so far, just Paranormal Challenge and I put I privated the original paranormal challenge video on this channel so I will be removing videos one at a time the only videos that will remain on this channel by the time I'm done is all of the ghost adventures reviews those will remain here I am not moving any of the ghost adventures reviews I am moving all of the podcast information and any other paranormal investigator content I've created like what's an electromagnetic field meter or how do you measure EMFs? Um, you know, I think I did one on like, what's it mean to be an empath as a paranormal investigator? All those will be moved as old content and then I'll be shutting that content down here. Same with the podcast. All the podcasts will be moved and I'll be shutting that content down here. This, this channel is no longer serving us. We cannot grow it. I can't do anything with it. We're stuck. Now the other good news with this is, and once again I had to really meditate on this for a couple of days, is I'm really excited for having a new channel now because I'm not being silenced and my creativity is not being silenced. I know a lot of people miss my old content, which is like when I would do reviews on shows. There's a major reason that I haven't done those reviews or content like that in a long time. And the reason is, is that none of them were ever sponsored. I know a lot of people thought Ghost Adventures was paying me to review that. I wish. I wish a bitch woulda, because I could use that money. But I wasn't getting paid for any of that. Then I'm not getting subscribers, I'm not getting AdSense, I'm not getting any payment out of that. You're filming an hour-long video about a review on a ghost show. It takes you four or more hours to edit that video, plus another extra two hours to add it up, to like actually upload it and export it onto your um, platform. So you're talking like a 10 hour process for one video that I'm making no money off of. Where the podcast, we're starting to get some sponsorships and other things like that where finances are gonna be good. But I couldn't keep pouring into making money off of something I'm not, I'm not getting any input on. At the end of the day, we all have bills. At the end of the day, we all have to pay for the roof over our heads some way or another. So the good news is with the new channel, I am hoping that I will absolutely be, well, not hoping, I am absolutely bringing back new old content. Although, this time, videos will be shorter. Maximum of about 15 minutes. I'm probably going to be shooting for somewhere between 7 to 15 minutes, but hopefully 10 to 15 is really the goal. 
Um, I have three new ideas for um, content that I'm going to do. One is sort of like a weekly roundup of paranormal information of whatever's going on in the community. One is going to be obviously the podcast that we're doing. And the third idea I have is for some sort of reviews for whatever current content's going on because I know you guys do love that. So on the new channel, once we get going, I'd love to hear input on anything you guys want to hear because I feel like I was being so suppressed for so long and I wasn't able to, you know, what's the point in, in filming a video and, and editing it when no one's going to see it? And the reason I never made the full move to a new channel was everyone's here. This has been my hub for so long. And honestly, the thought of, of starting over is terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. But I'm really positive about this whole thing. I started uploading to the new channel and I feel great about it. It's it, The energy just feels fresh. I feel like I get a new start. I'm not going to be focusing on Ghost Adventures content as much because the feedback that I've had from everybody on all platforms, including on comments on YouTube, is people are sort of bored with Ghost Adventures. It's been the sort of same content for so long and the same thing that nobody nobody's even really watching it much anymore. So I'm probably going to be stirring away from Ghost Adventures content, but I'll still be doing other reviews. Um, now, the, the next thing I want to talk about is the podcast. Once again, going back to Elfie and Kat. Yes, they're still here. Why would they, Where would they be? I don't know. I don't know where that started. Nobody's quit. I don't know what's going on. We're very busy. We're very bu we have. I am so busy, guys. I have so much going on behind the scenes you don't even know right now. Now, on top of that, I'm hoping very soon into the future, once, you know, maybe a one or two, one to four weeks, this move goes slowly when we start really getting content uploaded and everything's going smoothly, I would like to start bringing on guests for the podcast. So, of course, Elfie and Kat will still be involved, but I'd like to have random guests. I don't know, maybe celebrities, maybe also, um, you know, random local paranormal groups or people that are in paranormal and getting their feedback and what they're doing in the field and what's new and where are the locations you've been and just having a good conversation about ghosts for like an hour. So if anyone's interested in that, pay attention, message me, obviously con contact us on the new channel. So the ideas that I have now knowing that I'm not being suppressed for like creative control and content is like I'm ready to do this, like I'm ready to go. Now obviously my, my whole goal was never uh, just to be a YouTuber, I've talked about that before. The podcast is going great, I'm not going to stop the podcast now, it's, it's amazing, why would I stop that? I'm, I want to become like the sort of Joe Rogan female form of paranormal. Now on the flip side of that though is you know that the series of Ghost Girl Diaries has always been my priority and that will continue to be my priority and that will always be my number one. However, I know that I want to stay connected to you guys, which is why the YouTube channel I think is so important to redo and rebuild. Um, and now I have some new ideas and some new twists to do it. If you're not following us on TikTok, make sure you're following us there. TikTok's going really well. I've been filming for that um, podcast. I'm hoping next week we're going to be able to start filming for the podcast again. But once again, I'm sort of going with the flow right now. I, I, negotiations are stressful. You guys know that. And I have a lot on my plate, and I'm not going to overwhelm myself like I've done in the past, especially now that I'm moving all content to this new channel. So does anybody have any questions? Am I clear? Like, you know, I know it's been strange. Like, the most thing that we've seen on social media is Cat and Elfie quit Ghost Girl Diaries, and I'm like, huh? Like, I don't know who came up with that. Um, but I am really excited. To me, this is a good, fresh start, starting a new channel. And maybe people that are basically being hidden from my channel, my current channel, will be able to find us again. You know, like, I don't know if you guys realize what, what it does to a person that works as hard as I have on my YouTube channel. You put out hundreds of videos, you spend thousands of hours editing and doing content, and... I mean, my prime was like 2016, I think, was when the videos started going viral. But when you put your work and soul into all of that, just to turn around and the platform squashes it, I was in a funk and like a serious creative funk for this channel for a really long time. And I feel like that veil has been lifted. And now I'm going to have access to do anything I want and more. 
because the thought process of putting all the work into a video, hours of editing, you know, research, content, shooting it, and knowing that no one's going to see it, like that made me kind of sick at my stomach. And I'm going to be honest, it just sort of turned me off to the fact of like, I don't ever want to upload there again. And that's why I started doing the podcast, which I'm grateful for the podcast because obviously look where we're at now. But the podcast was the next easy option because I can go live like that. Even when I do an export, it's so quick. I don't have to edit it because it's just conversation between Kat and I or Elfie and I. And it's quick and fast and I don't have to spend and waste a lot of time. So on one hand, it was worth it because now we have the podcast to fall back on. But on this hand, I get to start over. And now, like, this is, like, the new improved crystal. Like, I mean, I know you guys love some of my old videos, but, man, like, I was a baby back then. Like, look how much I've grown and changed. And I know not everybody likes when content changes. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I remember being so involved with the paranormal community, doing these reviews about ghost adventures, which I think is what makes me such a good producer is... I was overly involved with the paranormal community and I was able to hear what you guys said, what you guys liked, what you didn't like. And I think that was what opened my eyes because it was like not only was I being a critic, but I was listening to the feedback from you guys. And I remember when Ghost Adventures initially changed their first um, sort of layout. This was basically when Nick got fired from Travel Channel, right? And I remember everybody hated it. You're like, oh my god, I hate the new ghost adventures. I wish they'd go back to the way they used to be, but people kept watching it. So I, I know, you know, I've, I get the comments still of like, oh, I miss your old content. Yeah, well, that girl is gone, man. Like, I've grown. Like, you can't expect somebody to stay in the same place their whole life. I've been on YouTube now since, what did I create my channel in 2013 or something? been on YouTube for like seven or eight years, been doing the podcast now for two or three years, people are not going to stay the same. And that means my content's not going to stay the same. And being evolved and growing and changing is such a good thing. And the thought that I'm going to be able to create new content, including reviews, including podcasts, including roundup about, you know, whatever's going on currently in the paranormal community. And those will be shorter videos, obviously. But knowing that I'll, I'll be able to access more people and my content won't be hidden and my work won't just be going like straight into the garbage is like such a relief for me. It's such a relief. And I'm just really excited. And you know, this means too, if I'm out traveling, shooting, filming on the road, I can still be making extra content for YouTube on the side. And I, I know mentally that like it's not just going to be all for nothing where like no one's going to see it and it's going to be shadow banned. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited. Um, the new channel, okay, like if you're going to ask me, oh, what's the, you know, what's the website? Because if you're a YouTuber, mine's like obviously youtube.com backslash ghostgirldiaries. I can't have a custom backslash yet. And that's because I don't have enough um, views. I think you need like 2,500 views. Um, and then I think you need like a certain amount of uh subscribers. I think maybe it's a thousand now. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. So I can't give you the title of the channel because it's so, it's a baby. Okay. It's a big channel, but it all, the new YouTube channel has been linked everywhere now. So if you go to ghostgirldiaries.com and click the YouTube icon, that goes to our new channel. If you go to crystalleander.com, it goes to our new YouTube channel. So I'm excited. Kat's excited. Like it's time for change. You know what? And like sometimes hitting the reset button is going to be, it's a good thing. One thing that, you know, I will admit, and you're not going to hear me admit this very often. And this is going to be sort of my final thoughts for this stream and, and obviously the channel. I'm going to do one more pre-recorded video that'll be short and uploaded to the channel and that'll be it. I had a lot of regrets throughout my paranormal career. Um, doing reviews for ghost adventures. I have a lot of regrets about it. Um, you know, I was on paranormal challenge. Obviously I got to work hand in hand with them, like all the judges and and the host. And, um, I think people saw me as knowledgeable. You know, I go to film school, people see me as knowledgeable. I get hired in production companies. People see me as knowledgeable. Ghost girl diaries just, um, 
won four different film festivals for our pilot. We did amazing. I'm so proud of my crew. But something that has always been like a little monkey on my back or on my shoulder is all of the Ghost Adventures reviews that I've done. And it makes me sort of sit in Zach's rearview mirror. So anytime I'm doing negotiations for my own show, that monkey's always sitting there because people know me for my viral content on Ghost Adventures. I don't want to be known for Ghost Adventures. I want to be known for Crystal. I want to be known for Ghost Girl Diaries. I don't want to be known for Zach or known for Ghost Adventures. So the thought of me being able to go cut that and move on and start fresh and it's just about me it's just about the girls it's about women and female empowerment and paranormal and film and I can put that old me in the rearview mirror I'm not gonna say I regret it because um, it made the channel what it was you know people found me because of those reviews people wanted to hear what I had to say and it wasn't always good but it turned me into a slight image for Ghost Adventures, and I didn't want the image. That was never what I wanted. That was never what I expected it. And now I get to hit the restart button, and you have no idea how excited I am to be able to do that. I'm so excited. So, new channel. Podcast will still be uploaded, so nobody panic, but it will not be going live on this old channel. It will be going live on the new channel. As soon as I get off of here right now, I will be disconnecting everything from this channel. I've already started to private some videos that I'm going to be moving to the new channel. Ghost Adventures reviews will stay here, and that's it. And I'm happy. I'm really excited. I get to make new content. God, how long has it been, guys, since I've pre-recorded and edited and uploaded a video for you? Probably two or three years. Because I just didn't want to, I knew this channel, I, I should have done this a long time ago. But you know what, everything happens in divine timing. I never wanted to leave this until obviously we, we established the podcast. And I wanted to have an infinite answer that the, sh that the shadow banning was happening. And now that I have that answer, I have closure. And I am ready to move on with my life. I'm ready to leave anyone and everyone that used to be or was a part of this channel is now in my rearview mirror when I finish this podcast right now and that feels really good closing the chapter on a lot of shit to be honest so make sure you guys subscribe to the new channel make sure you're still listening for the podcast this will be uploaded as a podcast we hopefully will be back next week fingers crossed maybe not i'm gonna try next week i think kat and i were gonna talk about day of the dead deal no wait the 22nd the 23rd um I don't know. I'm going with the flow right now. I'm not going to give you an, an answer right now because I just, I don't know. The next two weeks are going to be my hardest for work. But we're, we're going to be here. And watch the new channel for new content because it's coming. It's coming. I already have a whole notebook that I wrote down. Last night I went crazy because I was like, oh my God, I can do whatever I want. I can do reviews again. I can film content again. And people are going to see it and find it. And I did feel, that was the good thing I did feel about with YouTube. They said, you know, my face matching like technology and my voice will match the algorithm and it will find hopefully my previous fans. But I'm never talking about that haunted forest for the rest of my life, okay? <laughs> Unless I get a series and I go film in Japan, that will be completely separate, Okay. But that's the only time I will ever talk about it again, okay? Like, that's it. So, anyway, thank you guys for being so supportive all these years. Uh, new channel, find it. I'm going to upload a couple more videos tonight. And um, thank you guys for being so awesome. And hopefully we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you, channel. Thank you, youtube.com backslash ghostgirldiaries. Thank you. Because without this opportunity, I would not have been where I am today. But sometimes fresh starts are where it's at, and I'm ready for it. So I'll see you guys on the new channel. Watch out for new content. Back, back, back from the dead.